Welcome back to the studio. Today, we're gonna to take a look at gouge tools. And by the end, you'll get an idea of what they're used for. We'll look at a few of the different variations on the gouge tools. And then you'll know a few tips to keep in mind when you're looking to get one, if you even want one, and how it may help you in your studio. So with that, let's dive right in. Leather gouge tools. So these are used to move a bit of the leather material in order usually to allow the leather to fold or bend in a preferred direction. So for example, for making something like a wallet or anything that's got a fold in it, if we take this leather material just as it is and fold it over, it's gonna leave a big crease, plus there's gonna be material right in here that kind of jams up and collects. And so if we remove that material down that line, it'll make it easier to fold over without leaving any kind of large creasing or an uncomfortable kind of bulge in that crease. So gouge tools are gonna to be used to remove that leather in the material, or that leather in the middle, to create that crease that we can then fold it over. It's essentially for like a bend point or a fold point. So if you're in that kind of work, this could be useful. I'm doing this freehand on measured, so bear with me as we go. So there's an example, a very light example of that going through. And then you know, we can continue to do that while we're putting that, that in. Now, something to keep in mind with these is they're usually adjustable. And what that can do is if we look here, when we press down, this is going to move forward. And the blade is, is fixed in there. Yet, when we move this, it pushes forward. And so, say we have a thicker leather, and we want that blade to go deeper, we could then adjust how this is going so that blade can come out further and further and then going deeper and deeper, you know, into the leather itself. Or we could shorten the throw of it and then it'll go out less and less. So that way, if you're working with, you know, a thicker leather or if you're working with a thinner leather, you know, you can still use that to effectively put in those gouges for you. So yes, so that's a way that you can essentially use this tool to adjust based on the thickness of the material that you are working with. And if we look in the tool itself, the blade is a V-shape. If we look right at here, and that'll give you more of a V-shaped groove in your leather. And if you're looking for more of a rounded shape, there is also something called a U-gouge. And while this is a V-gouge, the U-gouge has more of a U-shape. So if you're looking for more of that V pattern in your leather, this is something that will give you that. And there's the U-gouge, which has a more rounded shape to that blade, giving you a more rounded uh, groove when you're cutting with it. And those are the two key types, the V and the U, both come in an adjustable format, so you can adjust the depth of how that blade goes into the leather material. Sometimes it could also be used as a stitch groover. So if you're looking to add uh, stitching lines to the edge of your leather, if you can do this in a consistent and even way, that can also be a substitute you know, for a stitch groover. Wouldn't be the greatest in all cases, but if you're in a pinch and need to make a groove so your stitching can sit low and protected, this can be an option for that as well. So when you're looking to get one, what to keep in mind, uh, first and foremost is quality. You want a sharp blade from a reputable manufacturer, and that way you know your tool is gonna be reliable. Uh, the next thing would be maintenance. Make sure you periodically sharpen those blades and keep it in overall good, clean, working order. And then three, um, test them out. You know, find one that you like, a manufacturer that you trust, and then if it's something that you do use often, it'll be well worth your time and expense to find one that, you know, is reliable for you day to day. And there you have it. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know. If you have experience with these types of tools, please do share. And until next time, keep crafting.